How to make a cobblestone bridge. Now, if you want to make a bridge, uh, something like this, or maybe something like this, then you're in the right place. Because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this exact cobblestone bridge. I'll be taking for you all the steps. And then once you've made it, you can combine it with these modular river tiles, which are available in another video. But how do you make a bridge? Well, let's get started. Cut this down to be four inches wide. So this is our bridge middle. We want to bend it around and for it to hold in the shape that it is. We are going to hold this in the steam of a kettle and then we're going to use anything heavy um, to hold that in place. I shouldn't have to say it, but this is really hot. So hold this with gloves, ideally. Um, don't do what I'm about to do. Focus the steam across the middle section here and once you can feel it's getting uh, softer, then you can bend it around. Make it nice and easy for ourselves. And now that's much, much softer to bend around. Position this, get this equal. And put one end of the stool down here. I'm gonna go there. I just realized that I had it the, in the wrong orientation. Um, I don't want the bridge to be this high but the wood will spring back slightly or you can push it down. So I've just redone it with the wood the right way around. But just wanted to share that with you, cause I'm an idiot. Whilst the other one's going on, you can get another bit of your board and, and just gonna cover this. Need some more blue. Need some more blue. That's better. If you want a full details on this, then look, check out my river tiles tutorial video. That'll do, pig. Then get a tiny bit of white, and we're gonna get our white, and we're just gonna create some, a bit, a bit of flow here. It will look good later on, I promise. So that's done. Okay, let's us take the stools away. Go. We now have our bridge. This is the uh, profile of our bridge that's uh, drawn out. I've come to this by uh, measuring the width of this uh, tile that is then drawn around this. So that gives us a, a guide of where things to go. I've then taken some sellotape and then just drawn a circle there, measured it so it's equal, circle there. Taken this again, shifted it up a little bit to show where a, a wall might be. Uh, and then finally I've just added some pillars on like so that is the bridge profile drawn. So cut a bit of foam to the, basically the right length and the right height. So we've transferred our design onto our foam and that is now ready to cut out. So you join me at the hot wire cutter. I wanna be clear, you do not need a hot, hot wire cutter to cut this foam at all. It just makes some of the curvier bits easier. So our bridge profile, so this is two centimeters thick. I actually want the bridge to be, the wall of the bridge to be one centimeter thick. So um, yeah, let's uh... now I'm gonna add our detail onto this. With the bricks here, four bricks high. It's on the edge now. It doesn't matter too much if it's not perfect. I feel like the central pillar I don't know if this, I'm gonna have some bricks. And then the rest of it, I'm just gonna draw circles. Um, and then on this part here, I'm just gonna put some lines across here. Do one side. On top, it's gonna follow this line across. Or then the other side. Now you don't need to do all of the other side, but you do need to do some of it. Everything above that line, and then probably a little bit under. We're talking about a cobble bridge, here, and that's the beauty of doing things like cobble bridges and things like ruins, is that they don't have to be perfect. They have to be good enough, he said, saying his channel name. I'm kind of drawing a line towards an imaginary center about there, depending on how into what you want to get you can do the underneath here because that will be seen a little bit if you're really looking for it 
And as I always say, without this, your scenery will be good enough. Um, he said, saying his channel name again. It's taken a, like a little bit of time, but anyone can do this. If you can, if you can hold a pen, then you can do this. You decide what level of detail you want to go to. Here we have the finished bridge sides. Now I'm just gonna paint them white with a cheap white paint. So nothing fancy, nothing clever, just so I can do both sides, insides. Now I'm gonna stick the bottom part of the bridge onto the river tile. Fair amount of glue on each thing. It may require a little bit of kind of pushing and twisting for just a few seconds. So gonna be pretty liberal here. Okay, so getting one end right and then the other, just applying a little bit of pressure, trying to get the gap even. And I'm just gonna hold this for a while. So this is a stuck down nicely, not going anywhere. So just gonna check by putting this Baharad leader on camel on different places on it. Check whether it slips down or not. If it does slip down, then I'll tell you what to do about it, but this one's okay. Thankfully. So we're gonna make some tiles, flagstones for this bridge. Found some bits which are the right kind of size and I'm just gonna cut. And we want them all different kind of shapes and sizes. If your bridge has been too angled and your model kind of slipped off it when you put it on, then all you need to do is just cut it, probably kind of angling the knife kind of towards you more slightly. This piece is pretty uniform across. Okay, whereas this one is thicker. I'm just gonna whip some of this kind of gray brown paint over here for a kind of base color. Before we stick these down, we're gonna paint them gray. Covered the bridge in PVA and I'm now going to just start placing these. I wanna be able to like, adjust them slightly as you're going through. So there we have our flagstones put down. Leave them to set in place. And whilst we've got this glue um, drying in between the tiles, we might as well take this uh, an opportunity to add some flock type pieces. When I do some basing, so what I like to do is just um, scrape it all into one pot and you get this kind of mixed flock thing. So that's got some like, uh, earthy type stuff, that's got some grass type stuff, and it's got some gravelly type stuff. But what I've got here is just a byproduct of basing stuff. And just slowly you're going to be adding this on, and I'm not sure there's anything more complicated than just tapping it and getting it in the, in the gaps. Join me trying something new with, uh, with this particular design. And these here are supposed to be like cobbled, like individual stones have been kind of built into the wall. I want to try something new, so this may not even make it to video. We'll see. Colors, so I've, I've like chosen a, a range of different colors. I mean, this is supposed to be, it's called bronzed flesh tone. This is from the Leho game color. It's just doesn't, for me, it's not a flesh tone. The plan is just to kind of pick out a complete stone and then pick out another com random complete stone. The channel is good enough Sunni, but I tend to kind of go above and beyond in places. Um, you don't need to do this if you don't want to. So that's with one colour done and it's okay if you think that's looking a bit bright, it will get dulled down a bit. Next up, uh, I'm going to use leather brown. Again, just picking out random stones. And for clarity, I'm not picking out any of the top tiles, any of these ones, any of the ones under the arch, it's just all of the kind of cobbly ones. That's a second stone colour done. And next up, we're going to use stone wall grey. It's the grey finished, and finally, sun yellow, also from Vallejo. Here are our finished cobblestones, which, apart from being a little bright, I'm pretty happy with. That's a dirty bit of cardboard over here. We have our side pieces. We have some, this isn't smoked paprika, this is, uh, it's watered out on a Rack Surf shade. Test how is this gonna look once it has some. Of... 
Okay, so what I decided to do is, whilst it's still wet, is to put some Ajax Airfage on the sh on the top, and that's making much more of the difference I wanted it to make. So this side hasn't had any more added than this has. So I'm just, whilst this is still wet, so it's still a water down mix, whilst this is still wet, I'm just adding a little Ajax directly to the stones, I think. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to add it to the white brick because I think the white brick's kind of at the tone and the gaps are kind of like I want them to be like. So we have our completed bridge sides. Something needs to be in this kind of first inch of this, um, of each side just to make it kind of attach to the, the rest of the tiles that you might have. So here, well, in all of the corners, I've just put some pretty standard basing material. And then here, I've just super glued a couple of rocks down that came here. I added a couple of uh, tufts. And uh, finally, there's a kind of bigger reed piece that um, I made. You join me at the dirty bit of cardboard. Some dry brushing. Makeup brush. Fill up your paintbrush. Painty paint, 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 paint. You don't want all of the paint removed from the brush, but you do want a lot of it off so that you're just going around and picking up. It's adding a bit of paint rather than actually trying to paint it white. And then you can see the, hopefully, See the areas which have been picked up by that. I'm going to put our sides on. A bit there. A bit in the middle there. And a bit down there. And we're going to make sure we've got the outside of our bridge outwards. Always a good idea. I'm not bothering to attach it to the bridge part. Um, it's only going to come away if you pull it, so don't pull it. Same on the other side. It's just like that. And that is it. That is all that needs now is the silicon doing, and that is one bridge finished. Finally, we are going to do the siliconing. So, one of these is a silicon, clear silicon, crystal clear. So, I'm just squeezing and just putting some lines of silicon. All in the row like this, as if water. I'm gonna try and make it a little bit flatter just by some smoothing closer to the shore, just because it's the shore. And considering how easy that is, I think that's pretty good for looking like water. Very last thing to do, just to finish this off, I think, is using this, this is a Aphonian camo shade and I'm just going to apply some across the bottom of this just to grime it up a bit more because this is the area where it would be a bit mouldy, particularly down towards the bottom here. And here we have our completed bridge which I think looks pretty bloody awesome but you don't have to do it in exactly this style you can do it in a style a little bit more like this which is kind of a, a more gray finished and of course you can and should combine it with these modular river tiles to make a complete river uh, to go across your game board good enough for any game board uh, there's a link in the description and uh, how to make those modular river tiles so you can have a complete river with a lovely bridge um, and yeah, like, comment and subscribe.